All right, you guys, so do I check out how to stretch text here in After Effects. For the composition settings, I'm going to go with 1080p 30 frame per second. And the duration is going to be 2 seconds and 20 milliseconds. For the font, I'm going to go with Mango Grotesque Black. Maybe I'm going to need to stretch it and break the rules in typography a little bit. I'm going to duplicate it, press Ctrl D, and I'm going to rename this as well. All right, so it looks something like this. And what I'm going to do is bring it to the 10th frame. And I'm going to go to the layers. I'm going to select the number two and bring it on the bottom. And I'm going to select the number one. And let's go to effects and presets. And we're going to search for corner pin. Drag and drop it on the layer. And here we're going to need to go to the stopwatch, activate them. So as you can see here, we got some dots in the corners. So if you drag it, it is going to stretch the text. So I'm going to press and hold shift and I'm going to stretch it downwards and I'm going to go to the other corner, press and hold shift and drag it upwards. And then I'm going to stretch it in something like this. I'm also going to press and hold shift and arrange it as best as possible. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. So I'm going to go to the number two layer. Let's go and drag and drop the corner pin and repeat the same step. Activate the stopwatches and rearrange it. And it looks something like this. I'm going to select both layers and press the letter U. So this way it's going to highlight the keyframes. And then here I'm going to bring it to the first second. Let's select the top layer. Let's go back to the corner pin and make sure to select the title right here, the corner pin, so it's going to be highlighted. So this way you can see the dots. And now what we need to do is just do it in the opposite direction. So I'm going to bring it up, press and hold shift and change it and bring it out and make sure to press and hold shift all the time to make it straight. It doesn't need to be perfect. You just need to pixel peep it. I'm going to repeat the same step with the other one. So it's going to look something like this. So when you bring it back, you can see it is going to stretch it like this. Now there's also this transition here, which I don't necessarily like. So probably going to start here. I'm going to customize it a little bit more to add more distance, you know, so this way it won't scratch. Yeah, it's not that bad. So here I'm going to repeat the same step at the 20th frame. So I'm going to select these keyframes, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Let's do with these as well. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And then I'm going to select these first ones, press Ctrl C. Let's go to the 10th frame, Ctrl V. And I'm going to select the very first here, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And pretty much we're going to repeat the same step with the other keyframes as well. Select it, Ctrl C. Let's go to the 25th frame. And here we're going to need to switch it up. So I'm going to need to bring this here and then bring it out like so. Probably going to do the same thing with these. Control C and I'm going to bring this out and let's select these Control C Control V. Let's go ahead and switch them and let's see where I can position this probably here. So now we've got a nice loop, probably going to select these and ease them. Yeah, there it is. I also going to select these and ease them and then the first ones as well. Let's see what we got. Perfect. And about least, we're also going to add some effects. So let's go and right click here, go to new, select adjustment layer. This is going to be the effects layer. Well, let's go to effects and presets, search for bevel alpha and drag and drop it on the layer. Here I'm going to increase it to 30, change up the light angle however you like, search for CC ball action, drag it under. And here I'm going to go with the grid spacing on 8, ball size 43. And here at the coloring, I'm going to go with the crisp. Let's go and search for glow. Drag and drop it under. Here I'm going to increase it to 70%. Glow intensity 1.5. And pretty much that's it. Hit play and there you go. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching.